Isn't it spectacular? Whether it's your first trip to the seashore or you've been here many times, there's always something new and different to experience. Hi, I'm Jazzy. I'm a steward of the coast. One of my favorite things is bringing visitors like you out to our beautiful Sonoma coastline. Since you'll be coming out for a visit, let's head on down to the tide pools now and look at some of the amazing creatures you may find. Where the ocean meets the rocky shore, there are usually tide pools. When the tide is high, these pools are underwater. When the water recedes at low tide, they're exposed, and we can look for some of the cool animals and different seaweed living in the inner tidal. You could spend hours out here looking for, for animals and plants. We're right at the area where the land meets the sea, and it's a very special place. Uh, it's actually a very stressful place for organisms to live because it's only under the water for part of the day. Um, so organisms that are living up here have to deal with a lot of stress related to the sun and drying out. Nature has provided them with amazing features that help these creatures survive in their unique surroundings. From hard shells, to sharp spines, to special cement, and even stinger cells. I mean, what's really incredible about those animals is that they have to survive out of the water when they're exposed and underwater as well when the water is over them. They have to be able to, to breathe in both types of environments, survive the, the hot, harsh conditions with the sun and then being underwater. Those are the type of animals that occupy the rocky inner tidal zone. Animals that like being in the water most of the time live even closer to the ocean. That's where you'll see anemones, mussels, and sea stars. And if you're here on a super low tide, you can find sea urchins, kelp crabs, and abalone. Who knows? Maybe even the shape-shifting master of camouflage himself, the octopus. And while you're looking among the rocks for creatures, don't forget to look up to see the birds hanging out in the intertidal zone. There are black oyster catchers, gulls, sanderlings, and other shorebirds. And if you look out to the ocean, you just might see a gray or humpback whale go by. Another reason to look out is to keep your eye on the waves. Even if they appear small, you never want to turn your back on the ocean. This is because larger waves, called sneaker waves, can catch you by surprise. We just want you to have fun and enjoy being safe out here. To help keep you and sea life safe, try to step where it's dry. Also, keep an eye out for hidden animals taking shelter during low tide. You never know what you'll find at the tide pools. That's what makes it such an adventure. It's wild, but it's also fragile. Some places, called marine protected areas, are given extra protections because they're so important to the marine environment. In order that people can continue to use, we have to protect the resources that occupy these different areas. And we need to protect the ecosystems at large so that they continue to function properly as they're supposed to. We all share and enjoy the coast. So it's everyone's job to respect and look out for it. I love being out here. I wish I could be out here every day. If you leave everything just as you found it, then it will all be here when you, your friends and family, return to explore and experience our wonderful Sonoma Coast again.